hey you guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl adora christiana it's nine o'clock low-key i felt like i woke up late but i'm on a roll i'm on a roll i feel pretty sluggish right now i'm not even gonna lie i think partially because i did not have my matcha this morning but that's because i have to go grocery shopping and i only like my matcha with oat milk and i only have almond milk right now so I was just like, no, I'm not even going to ruin it like that. I'm about to just do my hair. I'm about to take this bonnet off and do a little something, something. And then I'm going to head to ShopRite. And I also have like some things that I bought that I want to show you guys. So yeah, that should be fun. I love opening stuff, you know? So yeah, I'm just going to take my hair down now and just get ready i just feel so slow like i feel like i'm literally going in slow motion it's actually crazy so i put these perm rods in my curls last night because my flexi rods are gone with the wind so i hoped that this would you know do the same thing so once I take them down, we're just going to see which way they curl. Like, hopefully they're not all curled up. Oh, awkward. I mean, the bounce is there. Okay, hold up. It's so easy to get my hair tangled in these. But we just got to take our time. So I just want to see. Like, even putting these in last night, I was nervous. Like, oh my gosh. Am I going to regret this? Okay, so right now we looking like. It's giving Washington. Okay, it's giving Washington. But let's see, let's see. Ah! Oh my gosh, I need to take these nails off. They be snagging. They be snagging. I don't know if I should take my band off right now because I worked out earlier. And I don't know if my my lace is thoroughly laid back down okay i mean this is okay definitely not how it was looking yesterday but it still has a curl to it let me not judge it too soon but i curled my hair yesterday and i just made like a real slash tiktok slash short <laughs> out of it and it turned out really nice. And everyone loves this color, y'all. I get so many compliments on this hair. It's so crazy. But I agree. I love it, too. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. It's just giving body wave. Like, yesterday, it was giving, like... <coughs> oh, my gosh. Excuse me. Yesterday, it was giving, like, wand curl. But now, it's, like... It's definitely on the body wave side. I just don't like how this is, like, in the front. But... I don't know, I have to go to work later, so maybe I'll just curl it in like four big sections before I go. But other than that, like this is not that bad, like this is fine. So we're about to go to ShopRite. I don't know, I don't know if I wanna open my stuff now and show y'all or go to ShopRite first. But we're just gonna see. This is what I want to show you all. It is in a Kohl's bag because that is precisely where majority of this is from. So let me show you what I got, let me show you. I've been waiting to open all of this stuff because I got it right before James and I went to, where do we go? Virginia, it's like crooky. There you go. Yeah, oh my God, I feel like my hair is blending in with this background. I don't know, these curls are giving aerial, y'all. Like, uh, I'm not really liking it, but whatever. So yeah, I got all this stuff right before James and I went to Virginia. So literally, I didn't get to touch it, open it, nothing, 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 nothing. So let me show you. So, this, do y'all know what this is? My hair girlies know what this is, right? Right. It is a crimper, a hair crimper. I've been wanting a crimper for so long. I guess since I started doing my wigs because I see the pattern it creates and I'm just like, 
we need that like because you don't need okay so when you crimp your hair it gives like a deep wave look what i mean by that is there's a deep wave hair texture that you can buy already with that texture like and it's called deep wave but this i could literally have a bone straight wig and give it a deep wave texture and it's just so pretty especially once they fall a little bit and they loosen up and it just looks like this natural wave <gasps> yeah so i got a crimper from Pose. and this one is a conair and it says it's infinity pro so i'm gonna take that as this is top of the line conair merchandise okay so oh, i'm about to open it y'all i'm about to open it but it looks so freaking pretty and sleek it's just silver and what like gray and the packaging is cute too like it has like iridescent accents on it and stuff like okay conair Oh, shoot. Y'all, this is big. Wait, is every crimper this big? No. No. <laughs> no, because I definitely saw a girl on Instagram. She does wigs. And she was crimping a wig. And it looked dead ass like a flat iron. But like one of the thick, wide flat irons. And it was nowhere near this big. Like obviously I didn't see it in person. So I don't know for sure. But this is going to cover so much surface area y'all. Like what? And it has like the little stand. There's high and low options on it. And then there's an on off button obviously. I think it says it goes up to 410. Yep, it goes up to 410 degrees. It has five heat settings. And it has that automatic safety shut off thing, which most of my heat tools have nowadays. And it uses tourmaline ceramic. At least for natural hair, I learned that titanium heat tools are the best. They get your hair the most sleek and straight. But it says that the tourmaline ceramic reduces frizz and boosts shine. So we shall see. We shall see. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm in awe right now. It just looks so big, but I like that because I could literally do huge sections. <gasps> Hold on. I have to learn how to use this show. I have to look up a tutorial. Like, obviously, it's like self explanatory. Oh! <laughs> But I don't know. It's just so big. I'm just looking like, what the fuck? Nah, this is mad cool. I'm so excited for this. Ah, I'm so hyped. Okay. And then I got another hot tool, y'all. So what I did also get is this right here. This is also from the same exact brand, the Conair Infinity Pro brand as you can see the box is very similar and this is also something that i didn't necessarily want for a long time but i've been super curious about because so many people in the natural hair community use this and they say how convenient it is so now that i'm doing wigs so much more often i'm constantly blow drying my hair and honestly even before I was doing wigs, I always blow dry my hair for certain styles and everything. Particularly for wigs, I don't need my hair all that straight anyway. I just need it to be dry enough for me to cornrow it. And, you know, so it's under the wig and not wet because that's just a no-no. I was like, yo, if I get this, I can easily blow dry my hair. I don't have to worry about breaking brushes and my hair tangling on brushes. I was explaining in the last vlog how... I bought one brush and I basically broke it and my hair was tangling on it and then I got a new one recently from um, the dollar store because I was just like whatever F it like I'm gonna just grab this real quick. This is one piece and then this is the other piece. It's called the knot doctor like okay that's exactly what I need this is what I'm saying so then you put it on like this and it snaps oh oh this is really cool because it seems mad portable the fact that you can take it off and then the way you take it off is by pushing it's like this button and this button and it like releases it i guess yeah just like that and then you snap it back on oh my god and this is so light what the heck 
this is so freaking light and then there's a low high cool setting off setting and then you have like the cool shot right here the cool shot button i truly hope my hair does not get tangled on here because oh my nail just popped off dang but i truly hope that this does not tangle with my hair because but i don't know i feel like it's something about the fact that the hot air is going to be coming directly out of this with the bristles that is going to keep my hair from matting up versus me holding heat and then brushing i don't know something in my head just it makes sense to me so i cannot wait to try this out i'm probably going to try it on camera one day with y'all when i'm doing my hair so we're going to see how this works ciao because this has been around for years now the one that i first ever saw looked just like this it was black and pink and it just looked like this and i was always curious like are these girls telling the truth is this really as good as they say or what like but they would really be getting their hair super straight super dry honestly i don't even need it for all that i just want something to get my hair dry and not mat my hair up okay because we be trying to get to the wigs these days we be trying to get to the you know what I'm saying? The units. So I think this is going to be great. So I'm mad excited. All right. Let me know if you guys tried any of those. Just let me know down below so I can have some insight. You know what I mean? Or at least any tools, like hot tools from the Connor Infinity Pro line. But I don't know. I think I can make good use of it, y'all. I'm excited. Next thing I got is pretty mundane, but it's very. Oops. But it's very important to me. I got trays like this from the dollar store. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. It has one, two, three like sections in it. And like I said, I got two of these because I do have a like hair bin. Like I have one hair, I don't know what would you call it. A hair stand and it has like layers <laughs> it has like tiers to it and i like stack all my products on the top tier second tier third tier whatever and i think it has about four or five of those but i also have a hair bin with drawers that pull out and this is the point where everything in the bin is just thrown in there and i did one time previously clean it out and i tried to organize everything but it quickly got messy again it went from all my brushes and products being lined up and like perfectly aesthetically pleasing and all that to you know i can't find anything when i open it i have to like push everything around and your girl you know that's not ideal for me okay so i figured if i got these I could like put them inside of the bin. I could lay all my brushes in here and all my, like, I don't know, all these like press on nails in here and then like products in here. So this is going to be perfect. And I think it'll help me keep the bin clean. Not clean, not like it's dirty, but you know, like neat. It'll be neater for longer. Um, but I did earlier this morning, I like put one of these in the bin to see like how i would arrange it and i think i can put like two in one drawer just like this and then i want to get two more for the top drawer because there's three drawers but the top two i use at the bottom is kind of just like the junk drawer with like extra braiding hair and like stuff like that so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get two more of these and then when i'm ready i'm gonna make that like a whole video like organize my hair bin with me because i have wigs that i have to wash i'm gonna wash my wigs i'm gonna wash all of my hair tools like my brushes baby hair brushes and combs all that stuff and then i'm gonna organize like the actual bins so that'll be cool if you like organization videos that'll be really cool and then also if you like hair like you know you can see how i wash my wigs and like wash all my hair tools and everything so yes that is why i got these thingies okay i got these straight from the dollar store so like i said i'm gonna go back and just get two more of these before i do that i got these washcloths these also came from the dollar store but they're like soft on the outside and then on the inside they have like this little bit of like abrasiveness so my mom recommended these because she likes to exfoliate as well so i told her that i do face masks a lot like clay masks and everything and she said when i like wash it off these would be great to use like this side to like just exfoliate my face as i'm like washing the mask off so i'm gonna try these out and see they do feel really good i would have never thought to get these from the dollar store but 
I watch Chloe Yasmin a lot and she loves buying washcloths just like this but she gets them from the baby aisle because she says they're very like soft on the skin and stuff like that because they're made for kids but this is literally the same exact idea soft on one side and then a little bit abrasive on the other side so this is gonna be cool this is gonna make me excited to do my mask bitch I'm always excited but just something new you know when you add a little something to your routine it's like okay let's get it let's get it now I mentioned in a few vlogs back that I wasn't gonna buy something and then the next morning I told y'all y'all I bought something it was this I low-key wanted to make this like an unboxing on my Instagram but I also want to open it with you guys so I'm like I don't know I don't know I think I'm just gonna open it with y'all I'm gonna just open it with y'all so it's a wig y'all it's a wig if you're into wigs or if you watch like wig TikToks and stuff like that you have seen this bag and you knew a wig was in this period I did not expect it to be in an actual bag like this <gasps> This is cute. So now I still can do the unboxing because it's in this cute bag. Okay, so this wig is from Hairs Market. Now listen, I just found this on Google, y'all, because I'm just trying to find a good brand of wig, you know? So I was like, you know what? Forget all the mainstream, the things that I see day to day on social media. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my own research. And this is what I found. So this is from Hairs Market. And the first thing I'm seeing is some lashes. Hmm, are these something I would wear? I don't know, I have to look at them. But lashes, two wig caps, clutch, and a purple, purple bonnet, y'all. I'm pretty sure this is a bonnet. My favorite color is purple, y'all. Oh, I'm so hyped, okay. Now, for the real exciting part, y'all, I'm, you know, I have high expectations of this wig, y'all, because I've been doing my research on wigs and just trying to figure out, like, what is really the best? Like, what, what to look for, you know? This was the first brand that I was like, okay, let's give this a try. So, this is, I believe, a 20 inch wig is it giving 20 inch hold on i don't know oh my god first of all the hair feels like so freaking soft but i don't know and i like how like the ends are not like sparse like they're pretty thick from root to end ah! y'all the knots are tiny like, I don't even know if you can tell. Like, this lighting is not it, but the knots are tiny. And this lace, what is this? This is supposed to be HD lace. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is not HD lace. Like, this, this is definitely transparent lace, but this is not HD. So, they did me dirty. They did me dirty. As if I don't know the difference. See? Hold on. <laughs> Why I get mad like that? Basically... I can tell because number one, this lace is like still light on my skin, which transparent lace isn't bad. It's not, it's literally just beneath HD lace, but HD lace literally melts. It collides, it joins with your skin. Like, so if I were to put it over my hand like this, it would literally basically like camouflage into my skin. And of course, especially more once I put like makeup on it and stuff. But this part right here also, I can tell it's not HD lace because it doesn't have that frayed look. And it's frayed because it's so thin that like, that's just how it looks. This is more of a thicker built lace. So it's basically intact. If you look it up, maybe I'll insert a picture, but if you look it up, you can literally tell the difference. So this right here is transparent lace and i'm not mad about it because i can finesse it and like it's still good lace like i said well we'll see if it's good lace from this company specifically but in general transparent lace is cool but that's not what i ordered that's just not what i ordered it is looking like it's a 13 by 6 it has the lace in the back as well and i don't know i'm still trying to figure out if this is 20 inches because this is i mean it's 20 it's 20 and then another thing I like to look for is like a consistent length 
throughout the hair meaning like this hair at the top is literally giving 10 you know what i'm saying and this is a 20 inch i want everything from the top to the bottom to be 20 inches so that's another thing i probably sound like i'm picking this wig apart right now y'all but the more I'm getting into wigs, the more like I'm having an eye and like a preference for what I expect. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, like it looks really full, like for 180 density, like yes, this is very full. So I'll give it that. And it's a natural black color, like it said. But other than that, y'all, I'm just like, <laughs> I wanted some HD lace. I wanted some HD lace. But it's okay. I intend on trying plenty more wig companies. So, yeah, y'all. I got a new wig. I'm sure y'all will see this pop up on my YouTube and on my other socials and stuff. Me playing with it and customizing it and stalling it. So, yeah. But that really is everything that I wanted to show you guys. I'm so hype about that. I can't wait to install this wig and just make it look Happen, girl because it really is so soft like the hair feels really good i'm not even gonna lie that was everything i wanted to show y'all let's go shopping y'all we in the kitchen we in the kitchen the first thing i'm gonna do is wash off these tomatoes and dice them up i probably will heat the pan while i'm doing this but i don't want to start cooking the meat until that's completely done because i want the meat to be nice and hot when i'm ready to plate it so i'm just gonna wash these off first dry them up dry them up i don't know why i've been liking the ones on the vine better something about it i don't know i'm gonna show y'all me cutting but don't mind my nails because i took all of them off except the thumbs <laughs> So I ended up going with the bowl and basket flower tortillas or it says flower wrap same difference like right and then I normally get the ShopRite brand ground turkey but this was all they had and I'm not really mad at it because it says that it's you know the good stuff all natural 93% lean 7% fat and yeah no added hormones or steroids and no antibiotics ever that's what it says. That's what it says. So we're going to use this form to family ground turkey and see what it do. See what it do. And dang, I got a bowling basket, everything except the meat. So I got me some sour cream here. I cannot eat a taco without sour cream. So yeah, we had to grab that. I had to grab that. And I normally get the taco blend cheese, but I already had this at home. So I'm just going to use the sharp cheddar and then I'll just get the taco taste from the taco seasoning that I got so okay now while the meat is simmering let's prep this plate you already know of course we gotta start with the tortillas these are so soft i'm telling you yo if i would have got them other ones and brought them home i would have been so sad sour cream it 
It's not a taco without the sour cream. Good morning. Um, I think it's about two days later at this point. I literally just woke up and I had like the most strange dream. It was kind of like a horror theme <laughs> dream, y'all. That shit was crazy. But there were children involved. Like that shit was so random and weird. This is why I wake up before 8 a.m. Because that's when the weird dreams start creeping in my body's like girl you know daniel you're supposed to been woke okay so yeah that definitely woke me up it's 7 51 right now um today i definitely need to take my wig off and wash my hair because it's been a week at this point and i can just tell that my scalp needs a really good scrubbing so i'm definitely doing that today and i also want to go to the dollar store and get those two extra um trays i was talking about and i'm just really hoping that they have them because i tried to go to my dollar store that's like a little bit closer to me yesterday and they didn't have it so i'm gonna go back to the one that i went to last week at this point and see if they still have some more but other than that i think i just have a few other errands to run and that's going to be my day for today. I'm trying to think. I don't necessarily have anything else to edit. But um, I did all my editing for my upcoming vlog yesterday. But I did have like some technical. What do you call it? I did have some technical difficulties with it. So I'm just determining do I just want to upload it anyway. Or do I want to be extra and like make some changes so that's where i'm at with that but if i do just leave it with where it is all i have to do is make my thumbnail and um and my title for that so i think i'm just gonna leave it alone and just give myself some grace because i still am learning the editing software that i'm using so i'm just like <laughs> but it's just been giving me some just little bit of problems that i don't really appreciate and like it ends up taking up some more of my time and i already spent a lot of time editing so i'm gonna just do a couple more videos and if not i'm gonna do some research and maybe find a different one to use but yeah so i'm just gonna start my day by brushing my teeth and everything i took my shower last night so i'm just gonna brush my teeth wash my face have some matcha and then um, I'm just gonna get my day started and see where it takes me. washed my hair obviously i'm about to style it but i'm about to just put it in like a ponytail again in the meantime because i don't really feel like making time for anything else so i'm about to just slick this baby down oil my scalp really good and then i can head out Yes, it's 
it's finally time to go to the dollar store. I'm in a car, as you can see, so I'm just hyped because I've been thinking about this for like a week now. Ever since I got those two trays, it was a few days after that that I tried them out in my bin to see how I wanted to like fix them up and everything and arrange it. And I knew that I wanted two more, so I'm finally going to pick these bad boys up. I gotta go a little bit out the way, but I mean, it's still in town, but it's not my closest dollar store. I was thinking about it too. I don't even really know when I'm gonna get to organizing my hair bin because what, this week, I definitely wanna install another wig. That's gonna mean me customizing the wig, installing the wig, plus me doing my own hair, like washing it, blow drying it, and corn rolling it down so that within itself i'm gonna have to like break into a few days with like work and editing and filming other content <laughs> um so that's that and then the week after this week next week i'm going away i'm going away to charlotte oh my god I'm going to Charlotte, y'all. I'm going to Charlotte, North Carolina. James and I are going. That's really my travel buddy. But yeah, James and I are going to Charlotte just to hang out and explore and just catch a mood and eat some food. You know what I'm saying? So that's coming up next week. And tell me how, what was it, two days ago, I was at work, la di da minding my business. I got an email from my host of the Airbnb, y'all. I fell in love with this Airbnb and you know when you can just envision something and you're imagining yourself there and how it's gonna be and what it's gonna look like in person this man canceled our stay he canceled it like obviously something came up but obviously I don't appreciate that so he canceled our stay the thing about Airbnb is that they ended up giving us a $76 coupon to go toward another room that we may decide to choose instead but I just was not feeling any of the other choices I just it, it wasn't doing it for me so we ended up just looking on Expedia.com, Booking.com, Hotels.com, and it was like another one. Y'all probably know what it is too. I can't think of it right now. But if you travel, you know all those different sites where you can find hotels and they even had some of the same Airbnbs that we were scrolling past on the, like the, um, the sites that we ended up going on instead. So basically, we ended up booking a hotel a very nice hotel and for cheaper than I paid for the room you know what I'm saying so it's just like okay you know what everything happens for a reason and now I feel like I'm gonna take the money that I'm gonna get back from the Airbnb which I'm happy they give you a full refund I mean why wouldn't they it's not like I canceled I think I'm gonna use that money and put it towards something for my birthday because I want to plan a trip for my birthday too so I'm like hold up now hold on so i think that's what i'm gonna do saying all that to say with everything coming up back to back to back after charlotte i'm gonna come home i'm gonna be home for like a week and a half and then i'm going away again <laughs> and then after that i mean shoot i hope i'm leaving again but i need to find time to organize that bin because when i tell you y'all every time i go in there and i go to grab something it's just you know it, it doesn't give me the feels you know it, it stresses me out a little bit so I need to like get to that because not only do I need to organize the bin I need to organize everything around it and then I have like stuff sitting on top of it so it's just gonna be a whole thing which I'm excited about but just figuring out when I'm gonna do it and I'm also thinking how I want to film it because I don't have like a tall tripod so I might have to do like a makeshift something so that like I can get the angles on my camera but yeah so we're gonna figure that out all right we in here I just gotta find the section I think I remember where it is though it's by like the plastic stuff or like the fake glass stuff and I low-key did want other kinds of them too for my um my dresser because i want to organize stuff on my dresser but i'm like ah oh here they go oh 
Okay. No, I lied. This is literally in the party section. <laughs> it's in the party section, so this is meant to be for food. The heck? See, like, this kind of stuff. Like, I found something similar to this. And I use it for, like, my um, Q-tips and stuff like that that I just want to put in there after I shower and stuff. But it wasn't really this. This is, like, mason jar stuff. But it was something like that. And it was, like, cute. And it was at a whole nother dollar store at that. So, I mean, they all be having different stuff. Like, I feel like everyone's supposed to have the same thing. Am I wrong? Really, though, I haven't used body wash in a little bit, which is, like, crazy. Because I was obsessed with it for a good few months. So, if I could find a nice body wash, I might get that. I think it's over here. Hydrating cocoa butter. You guys, this smells so freaking good. <laughs> Oh my god you know what it smells like you know those caramel candies those hard caramel candies oh my god this smells just like that oh, i might have to get that hold on hold on hold on but there's so many more options They have lavender. I've been saying I want something lavender. It's lavender and vanilla, look. I think I want this. All right, this is a candidate. Let's see. Irina, register three, please. Lilac and rose. Between these two, like I have the perfect body wash for this. I mean, mist. Okay, I don't know. Do you want to smell like a caramel candy or lavender? I want both. No, oh, they have a tropical scented look. Tropical scented. It smells good. I mean, it smells like soap. Nothing crazy. I think I'm gonna go with this for now. If I feel like I really want the lavender, I'm gonna come back. Okay, y'all. I'm back in the car. And not only did I go to the dollar store, but I stopped in Five Below because it's right there. And I mentioned before that I had a waist trainer. Well, I still have it. It's Velcro, solely Velcro. And it works for probably, I want to say two and a half months, maybe three months. And then the Velcro stopped being like sticky. <laughs> How does that happen? Like it's Velcro. But then I had to remind myself that I got it from Five Below. And I was trying to convince myself, okay, maybe I should just invest in a $15 one, $20 one off of Amazon or something. But I can't bring myself to do that just yet. So, okay, I went into Five Below to get another one. And this is what it looks like. And like I said, it's just Velcro. It does the trick. And it has like this little pocket in the front so like I could put my phone in there, which... I guess I will use it if I'm at the gym, but I work out at home and I'm typically watching YouTube on my phone when I'm working out. So, but you know, it's clutch. It gets super tight because you can make it as tight as you need to. So I really like it as long as it works. And I got these cute fuzzy socks. They're called boot socks. See the little rainbow? But yeah, on the tag it says boot. What the heck? On the tag it says it's called a boot sock. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I was thinking I could even wear these with like my Crocs and like push them down and just have like that fuzzy look. And they had other colors, but I wasn't really sure how I would incorporate them with the clothes that I have. So I just got this cream color because if I don't end up wearing them with like an actual outfit or with my Crocs or my Uggs, I'm gonna just wear them to sleep because I'm not asleep in your socks kind of girl. But sometimes at night it just be cold. Cold. 
for no reason and it'd be my feet that's mainly cold so when that happens i throw on fuzzy socks like this and then in the middle of the night once i'm like warmed up i take them off in my sleep but yeah those are perfect for that so girl get you some of these if you need them okay i'm trying to tell you now so like i said from the dollar store i got this y'all never saw this brand never smelled this scent but it's called the Sokians creme <laughs> rich and creamy body wash and this is the scent this is the scent hydrating cocoa butter y'all like it's not giving cocoa butter like at first with it does smell like coconut but when you like really smell it oh my gosh it smells just like Carlo! and it's fall like this this is it this is this is a fall scent right here so and i don't know because i noticed with body washes once i use them in the shower they be smelling you know like a little bit different you get some of the undertones and stuff so we're gonna see how this is in the shower but y'all like if that lingers on my body after my shower I'm coming back to get the lavender one if that's the case i'm coming back to get the lavender one because i'm not too keen on lavender and i felt like that could have smelled more strongly like lavender but it was lavender and vanilla so like i don't know but if that one lingers on my body after i shower and i'm gonna put my cocoa butter lotion on and i'm gonna put my um what is it called something almond Cr not crushed almond oh my god it's my favorite body mist as of lately from Mix Bar. But yes, y'all. So I have a body mist to go with it. I have a lotion to go with it. Like, period, 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 period. And then, of course, what I went there for was these bins. Like, this is going to be so perfect. I cannot wait to, oops. I cannot wait to organize my freaking bins, y'all. Like, it's just going to be so satisfying. Like, so, so satisfying. As of right now, I... I think I'm just gonna go home. I feel like I have like a whole to-do list today. Like, but I don't, I also don't know. Oh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Cause I've been trying to figure out, like I said, I wanna install a wig sooner than later, but I have to like break it into increments. So I think today, since I kinda already got my outing figured out, I'm going to, that lady literally just looked at me in my face, but the thing is she smiled. She didn't look at me crazy so we gucci but <laughs> i'm gonna wash that wig and then i'm gonna let it air dry yeah i'm gonna let it air dry until whenever i can get to it then i'll customize it probably in a day or two and then i'll be closer to installing it rather than waiting tomorrow or the next day to wash it and i think i'm gonna make a thumbnail today for my um my spend the weekend with me video so that's really it other than that i'm just gonna be chilling trying to make my day off useful so yeah i'm gonna catch y'all later on okay. y'all i'm back i'm out the shower from my workout you guys i smell so good and i feel so cozy and clean right now and i did go ahead and use that body wash that i just got from the dollar store and y'all i cannot say i have any complaints about that it suds up as the body wash should it smelled exactly the same in the shower how it smelled in the bottle <laughs> and by the time i made it to my room from the bathroom you guys 
I smelled it on me. I smelled the scent on me. So that was a big, big plus for me. So I just might be going back to the dollar store to get the lavender one. Oh no. And I'm feeling mad accomplished based on what I got done today. After I got back from the dollar store and five below, I ended up dropping everything and getting straight to wig business. So I had this idea of doing a wig boxing on my mind for a couple days now. So before I went ahead and washed the wig, I took it out the pretty um, bag. And I showed everyone like what came in the bag. I showed them the wig. So yeah, I went ahead and filmed that finally. So I'm excited to go ahead and edit that. I was so hyper focused on the idea of washing the wig that I totally forgot the reason I have to wash the wig is because I have to bleach the knots <laughs> so right after I did the whole unboxing thing I was ready to go straight to the bathroom get down to business and I was like hold on girl you gotta bleach the knots as you saw that's exactly what I did I bleached the knots I let it sit for 40 minutes and I did a pretty good job y'all I'm getting so much better at bleaching and obviously it's still only going to get better but i'm very proud of it especially the hairline right in the front Shoo, girl just wait till you see the install i let the conditioner sit and then i sat down and started my thumbnail so i got my thumbnail all done for my vlog that i'm gonna upload which i'm still trying to decide if i want to upload it tomorrow afternoon or wait until Sunday because I have been posting vlogs every Sunday. But I noticed I kind of have been getting them done sooner than Sunday. Let me know what day you find yourself more so on YouTube. Or I'm someone who I'm on YouTube every day. But when do you feel like you have the most time to watch your content? Like your favorite content, your favorite content creators? Is it like on the weekend? Is it late at night after work? Like just let me know. I'm curious. But yeah, so... I got my wig all done. It is on the canvas head drying. I think if I'm in the mood, which I typically am in the mood, I'm going to customize it tomorrow. But I have to see how I feel in the morning and if I have anything on my to-do list that's more of a priority for tomorrow. So I'll probably start brainstorming that tonight and put it in my notes. So then tomorrow I can get right down to whatever I have to be doing. I just feel so good right now. Like, ah! And there's something about this little bun. Like I was hating on it earlier but it's been making me feel good i feel good in that shower and i just smell good my skin is soft you you know the vibes but i did go ahead and um add the lotion i was talking about the vaseline coco radiant and i added the whipped almond body spray number 14 from mix the bar that was what i was talking about whipped almond you guys when i tell you that scent for me is intoxicating and it lasts so long God. and then recently i've been obsessed with japanese cherry blossom from bath and body works so i've been mixing those two they complement each other so so well so so well so you can imagine how i'm feeling right now like so good i did some shopping today y'all seen the vlog y'all seen the vlog so i definitely want to start editing this very very soon so i'm gonna end it here y'all i'm gonna end it right here thank you for watching I really do appreciate y'all. Yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, you guys. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. All of those. Even one of those works, you know? Maybe? Yeah. So, <laughs> I love you guys so much. And I'm going to close this out and see y'all in the next vlog. Bye, babies.